This ain't no game show. This is a top young talent on display. This is NXT. It's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. to start and the countdown is almost over. Suplex. 
He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. to attack from above. Nobody home. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Uh-oh. Ooh, I might have just broken something. He's taking a start. Not only gave him the count, just a barrage of stops. Makes the cover. Slam blade! And he kicks it in two. Close call. That was almost lights out. Dorado is out of the way. <laughs> That's gonna sting. Oh my god. Now Uh-oh. The stop in every single part of his body. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. He's returning fire. That's a torturous position to be in. I'm gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. He's still doing a lot of damage though. I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Yeah. Arm trap, tightly in a hammerlock. Up yeah. and the sidewalk slam. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Oh, meet the backside of an elbow. Hurricanrana, ideal meal. He's back into the ring. He is rubbing up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Carefully voice stop. It's his end. Try to end it. One, two, one, one, one. And Lindsay showing he still has signs of life in him. Doesn't matter how long we go in this one, since Lindsay is going to remain relentless. Bodies must be writhing in pain right now. The breaking point must be on the horizon. Malik able to avoid impact. Basement drop kick. And sit right into the corner. Solely focused on... Oof! Enough already. He turns it around on Lindsay. Springboard! And misses on the springboard. Time, enjoy it. Boom! Before the fist draws on your face. might be reaching the threshold of what he can withstand. Bullseye! Leap to the belly. And Mary minus the grace. And look at this now. Yes, a point the submission hole. Now it's time for the submission. This isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, he saves his partner there. Man, that one was in tight. Yeah. Bam! Down he goes. Just 
Switch things for Metalik. Cover! And watch this. Let him free. Adam where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. I am shaking my head. And Whenever tag team is on the dock, if the mayhem multiplies, here's the proof. Here are your winners, the Madness! Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. I was barely in my seat for most of this one. This team put on a tremendous show. Here comes a man with a plan himself, the Brian Kendrick. Unpredictable and as dangerous as the day is long. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Venice, California. Weighing in at 174 pounds, the Brian Kendrick. Kendrick, a multi-time tag team champion, a former cruiserweight champion as well, ultra-talented veteran of the ring. When you're as ready and prepared and plan as well as Kendrick, titles just sort of happen. Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 190 pounds, Aria Tavari! Tavari brings a no-nonsense style and approach to the cruiserweight division. Hey, Aria Tavari, uh, well, you could say he's had a rather abrasive relationship with the WWE Universe, but I don't think he cares. The future has arrived. A man who bends limbs joints and time itself and from tokyo japan weighing in at 192 pounds kushida this is a man who spent many years as the top light heavyweight in japan and is now one of the finest cruiserweights in WWE. Now, who could forget the moment that Kushida defeated Santos Escobar to win the NXT Cruiserweight Championship? You ready? Put your hands up, Michael. And representing Lucha House Party from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 168 pounds, Kalisto calls himself the GLOAT. Greatest lucha of all time. He's not even the greatest luchador on my screen right now. He believes he is better than the rest of the lucha house party. And Kalisto, for his size, has accomplished so much. He doesn't realize that he's five foot four and only weighs 175 pounds. 
Downs. Four-way rules, meaning no countouts, no disqualifications, and if it goes, we're about to witness a very fast-paced match with Brian Kendrick, Arya Damari, Kushida, and Kalisto. These gladiators appear ready for war tonight. And, and the top rope!
firm control. Kashida being faced with adversity here. And got the win. That is a huge win. Here's nine. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. We saw something special from each of these men tonight. I thought all four of them had a shot at winning this match. Self-Cole, she's not up and coming. Indy believes she is already main event worthy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Think about what Indy Hartwell has already accomplished here being an NXT Tag Team Champion alongside Candice LeRae. There's a true testament to following the way. The sky is certainly the limit for Indy Hartwell. Guys, we're about to see a display of indie wrestling. Uh -huh, I see what you did there, Corey. On a more serious note, one of the most well-rounded competitors in the entire women's division. Here comes the war goddess, the Sheenom. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. A woman who reinvented herself with her return to NXT and found a compelling ally in Shotzi Blackheart, winning the women's tag team titles. Ember Moon always game, always ready, always focused. The first competitor to ever win both the women's title and women's tag team titles in NXT. Something tells me Ember's Law is about to be served tonight. There's no denying that Eddie Hartwell has been on a meteoric rise since arriving in WWE. That's true, the Australian superstar has faced some of the toughest competitors WWE has put in her path, and she has not backed down. I think a lot of people forget just how vicious Indy Hartwell can be when she's pushed to her limit. And as of late, Ember Moon has turned over a new leaf and is even more determined than she was before. The War Goddess has a much-needed edge to her now. Moon hoping that attitude will pay dividends here. Indy keeps her at bay. On a flying form smash! Look this fire, and now looking to get it locked in. Uh -oh. uh, slipped through and escaped. That was pretty. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip! All measured up. On oh, a drop kick to the spine. Elbow drop. We discussed plenty of times before how athletically gifted and intense Ember Moon is. What's the counter strategy for that, Corey? 
I can imagine wanting to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ember Moon in terms of intensity, but that's a risky proposition. Instead, ground her. Keep her momentum non-existent if possible. She from the heavens. Whoa, look out. And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Battle of the metal right now. Ouch. Caught her. Ember caught by surprise. Two. Reversal from Hartwell. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, God, that hurt. And that one's scouted. There it is. Boom, oh, nice. Telling her opposition, you are way Kick to the midsection, into the hammerlock. I think we know what comes next. DDT! Oh, will this be enough? One, two, three. And that's all she wrote. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. So perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. wait until another superstar, one you don't like, Saxton, decides to come out and take what they want, and we'll see how you respond then. A competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. Does that make you, Saxon, like the annoying neighbor who calls the cops when the music's too loud? That's not a very nice and thing to say, Corey. From Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 201 pounds, Isaiah Swerve Scott. The unmistakable swag of Isaiah Swerve Scott on display. Uh, Byron, he has the talent to back it up. Saxon, why don't you learn from Swerve Scott? This guy is cool, man. Everything about him is cool. You should take notes. I thought I already had a cool factor. The swagger of Isaiah Swerve Scott has earned him love from the WWE Universe, but some say it borders on arrogance. Yeah, but when you're as good as Swerve is, you have to show it off. About to see great high-flying and striking hybrid offense. You're looking at a well-traveled superstar who has seen a lot in the ring. With experience comes confidence. There's nothing you can throw at this competitor that could phase him in the slightest. He'll be looking to utilize that wisdom in this matchup. And if you want high-flying trouble, look no further than this man, Isaiah Swerve Scott. He's one of the most gifted, agile, and unpredictable competitors on the roster. Is it enough? Stops the count before it, too. Fighting hard to stay in this match. From the top, he misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Sky high! Way up there. No, oh, no, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Huge toss. How do you deal with a 
superstar like Isaiah Scott who is fast on his feet and has unmatched athleticism. But you've got to find a way to shut down his speedy attacks. I'd recommend targeting his chest and core with some hard-hitting offense. That will mitigate his impressive cardio. Then you're one big move away from victory. And Swerve had it scouted. Climbing up to the top now. Watch out. Tremendous drop kick. Producing a trampling. All measured up. A drop kick to the spine. He's able to fend off the attack. Absolutely planted. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He's taking some good hits. That cunning attack is just a sample of how agile and gifted Isaiah Scott is. Great reversal. It's that time. Kicking out next time. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Catches nothing by it. Uh-oh. Oh, breaker. Mistake made by Swerve. Oh, right to the back. Trying to find a way out. Trying to make it back to a vertical base. He does just that. Can he pry himself out? Yes. Oh, good night. Sorry. This raw power. Sit up, power bomb. Top rope, here we go. <laughs> up the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Set up for a second time. I'm pretty sure everyone in the building thought that was going to be the end of it, myself included. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. Snapmare. Kick to the side of the neck. Swerve may have put the exclamation on this. Sam. Two. He kicks out somehow. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments where you really find out how tough you are. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Ridiculous standing shooting star. We've seen that look before. Swerve in position. Snapman. Oh, By Swerve Scott. Will Swerve take advantage? Makes the cover. Two. And Swerve with the victory. Nicely done. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Here is your winner, Isaiah Swerve Scott. Impressive victory from bell to bell. This was the kind of win where you second guess yourself. Sure, it's a celebration now, but the results could have easily gone the other way.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Madness from New Jersey. Weighing in at 278 pounds, Joe Gary. Ruthless aggression is alive and well, and this superstar is living proof. Ruthless aggression is overrated, Sax. Then whatever happened to being ruthful? How come nobody ever uses that word anymore? some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. Doesn't matter where or when he's competing, this guy just wants to fight, and he's about to get one. superstar who has seen a lot in the ring. With experience comes confidence. There's nothing you can throw at this competitor that can fade him in the slightest. He'll be looking to utilize that wisdom in this matchup. But don't discount the man he's facing. A man who has been counting the minutes to getting this fight started. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. Shoulders down, this could be it. And frustration might be starting to set in. Sight set on the top row. From the top! Oh, from the top! <laughs> he saw it coming, taking advantage. There's the torture rack. Racked up, not finished yet. Oh, my God. Into the pin attempt. He's able to kick out before two. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Well scouted reversal there. He's one step ahead there. There it is. Snap suplex. He just isn't being given any room to recuperate. Yeah, he's really being put to the test. Big back body drop. What elevation. Four ball across the face. He just barely dodges. Solid contact across the chest. Saw that coming. One behind. Back suplex. Isolating the arm. Lands the knee drop. This match grinding him down a little. Suplex, and now he's taking control. It's starting to come together in a big way for this guy. Enough already. Knew what was coming there? He's open to start a rush of his own with that attack. And there's the 
It's just pure instinct at this point. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Here's his window, and will he take advantage? The cover! Two! He! No way! No way! I truly thought it was all over there. Talk about resilience. Yeah, but did you see how the referee had to get into position? That was all the difference. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. Oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. You know what here, Corey? Look at the torque. There's no escape from the camel clutch. Oh, just tap out. Just tap out and end this thing. That submission forces the tap out. Singles match. This superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, he's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Oh, I kind of did too.